facial for 200 pounds. I'm expecting to look pretty young after that. <laughs> crack on you know the score by now first and foremost that the discount code for this week is 10% off all handbags so that code's gonna flash up here and you can use that at checkout to get 10% off all handbags and as per all of the others it's for one week only so don't forget to share this with a friend that you think might be looking out for something and that is 10% off we've got Chanel got some LV on there and new Hermes going up this week that's on everything so do head over to our site and see if there's anything that you fancy over there I do hope you're on holiday somewhere really amazing and if you are please tag us in your photos or do you know what even if you're just in the backyard having a lovely margarita we'd love to see what you're up to so tag at Timphonies on Instagram how lovely is this bright blue mulberry I just so happen to be wearing blue I didn't do this on purpose the mulberry base water normally they retail or currently they're retailing for uh, 950 pounds so just under 1000 and we've got this in at 580 and it's in pretty good condition the only thing I would have to say is that it doesn't actually come with its dust bag just bring the corners up there to show you but mulberry have been quite clever i think with the bayes water because they have actually turned it into a classic much like the kind of chanel flat bags and that sort of thing whereby they are producing them year after year and they're making the prices go up to buy something like this pre-owned is actually quite a good idea because you will probably see the prices of them go up over time so if you manage to hop on the bandwagon nice and early you could well be saving yourself quite a lot of money in the future if i managed to save 400 pounds where would i choose to spend that and do you know what normally i'm the sort of person that doesn't consider a holiday a holiday unless i've literally stepped on a plane and gone to some far flung place but actually there are some amazing places in the uk and one of the places that i'm absolutely dying to go to is soho farmhouse uh in the Cotswolds. it's only about 90 minutes away and it just looks so gorgeous i mean if i'm being honest it's basically ticking the countryside box without actually really having to do country in a kind of get down and dirty kind of way and you know they've got tennis courts i believe they've got a cinema amazing food of course um you get your own little bike and uh, your own wellingtons so for 400 pounds i would like to take some friends so they would all chip in we can get a nice little cottage together and go down kind of november time so it's not completely freezing and just have a really good weekend in the country if you guys have been comment below let me know what you think uh, is it all it's cracked up to be because I've heard really good things next up are these two pairs of Gucci mules clogs whatever you want to call them to be honest this isn't normally my sort of style like I don't think I own anything with a big brand across it, apart from probably a Chanel bag. But these, I there's just something about them that I love. I think I probably wear them in quite a sort of colour clashing, high, low style type of thing. So pair these with like a ditzy floral Zimmerman dress or something like that. There's just something about them that's really catching my eye. And actually, I do think, yeah, they're both completely unworn so i tried to find these online i don't think they're current season but i would suggest that they probably retail for around 350 something like that and we actually have them currently in store completely unused at 150 so gucci is i feel having a bit of a moment you've seen a lot of these bombers around i think their new season bags have been actually really well received so actually although they wouldn't have necessarily been something that i would have gone for i am actually pretty tempted so next up if i would managed to save 200 pounds by buying those gorgeous gucci shoes pre-owned 
I would actually choose to spend that going to, to the Espa at the Corinthia Hotel. I've seen amazing pictures and heard incredible reviews. It's a four floor spa, it's got kind of everything that you could possibly want in the centre of London which is actually really rare. A lot of spas in London can be really small and not that actually not that relaxing because you're sort of amongst a lot of other people and I've worked out I could definitely afford a facial. I mean a facial for £200 I'm expecting to look pretty young after that. <laughs> Next up Got these Valentino sunglasses. Valentino again having a little bit of a moment. They've got that sort of rock star detail here. I reckon Valentino sunglasses retail are in the region of about £220, something like that. And we have them in store at 160 and for me sunglasses are just one of those things they if you like them and they suit your face to be honest i would just buy them <laughs> because actually although styles do come in and out i do think something that just flatters your face is actually far more important i don't think these are probably the best for mine but i'll pop them on so they're actually in a kind of slightly two-tone gradient burgundy gradient finally if i've managed to save 60 pounds by buying those sunglasses pre-owned i know you're going to be thinking oh my goodness what can she spend 60 pounds on doing and actually i am all about the luxury treats and for me there's nothing more relaxing on a sunday night than booking myself an urban massage and i'm sure you guys have all heard of it but urban massage is essentially a massage company that come around to your house and um for me i absolutely love the fact that once the massage is finished i'm just popping on my little gym jams and i can just curl up on the sofa for the rest of sunday night so 60 pounds would uh pretty much get you an hour's massage at your home in london so guys thank you so much for choosing to tune in uh if you've been to any of the places that i've mentioned throughout this series i would absolutely love to hear from you because you hear all these amazing rumors and you actually want to know if they're as good as they're cracked up to be so do comment below and let me know your thoughts uh, other than that guys i hope you have a wonderful and safe week and i'll be back same time next week bye <laughs>